Okay, so I can tell already that it's not quite leveled. It feels not straight. So hopefully in editing, I'll be able to straighten that out. Yeah, we good? We good to roll? Boys, I'm so excited. I'm still so hyped. Basically, as of filming right now, it's been one hour since we dropped the chains and it's selling out pretty fast and, and I'm so, like, oof, I can't even express it. So, I'm gonna try and capture that excitement in this video. With that being said, yo, what up, hey, how you doing, guys? My name is Serge, and today we are back with another video. And as you can see from a my different surrounding, we have yet again changed location. This time, we are in Los Angeles, AKA, LA. Today, as you can see from the title, we're actually going to be doing a styling video, sort of like an LA outfit, well, I don't want to say LA outfit diaries just because I'm going to have an LA outfit diaries coming up next. This is more of a styling video where we're going to be taking a look at a massive trend. I don't even know if you can call it a trend anymore. It definitely was a trend at one point and now it's become such an everyday thing for most people. They reach for a bag before they head out the door to chuck their phone, their wallets, whatever it may be. Um, they come in a variety of sizes. Some people like to wear backpacks, some people like to carry briefcases, messenger bags. But one thing that we've seen pop in the last two, three years have been side bags and crossbody bags. And so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys three of my favorite bags that I chose from the wonderful people over at Forward who actually allowed me to pull some of the pieces for this video. Whenever I come to LA, I like to work with those guys just because they look after me and I'm able to showcase some new pieces to you guys and also you know, style them up, have fun. And so today we have three bags, three different sort of outfits, and yeah, let's let's get straight into it with bag numero uno. Perhaps the most casual option out of the bunch is this Margiela side bag with this sort of puffy, uh, puffy, what's it called? Puffy texture. So that's definitely not what it's called, but you 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 know what I mean. This is from their fall winter 19 collection it is currently on sale links to everything that i mentioned today will be in the description box down below so do check it out but this banger it's just such a nice clean black bag it can be worn at the waist like a bum bag or it can be worn across your chest quite roomy there's a lot that you can chuck in and it's all black you know so the reason why i opted for this bag is because i wanted to show you a more casual take and a more sort of normal like not so in your face take on wearing this bag and I decided to pair it up with a Reese Cooper fleece jacket. Boy, it's so buff. Like I love the cut on this. It's uh, cropped. It is it is cropped in the body. Uh, the sleeves are not necessarily elongated or anything, but it's just, it fits amazing. Super casual piece and it features this really interesting strap on the inside, which actually allows you to sort of wear the coat as a shoulder bag itself. If it's too hot outside, then you just chuck on the strap and chuck it on you and you will be good to go. Then we have this vintage t-shirt that I got from Unsound Rags, which talks about various things that real men should be able to do and not be afraid to show, which I love. I love the message behind it. I just think it's a really nice fitting vintage t-shirt and that was purchased from Unsound Rags. For the bottoms, we have my vintage military pants, which I got from House of Vintage back in the UK. It's one of my favorite pants. They fit amazing, they flow super nicely, the color is really nice, and it sort of fits within the theme of this look. And then for the shoes, we have the Fugazi, 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 I'm pretty sure, Fugazi, 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 Fugazi shoes. I can't remember the name. Is it one left in the chamber or something like that? Basically Trevor's brand and um, he hooked it up for the boy and I think they're awesome. I love the idea behind it. Obviously it's it's not meant to be an original, it's meant to be a bootleg take on the Jordans. It's one of my favorite colorway of the Jordans as well. So I'm definitely gonna be using these as like beaters and I'm very hyped to be able to do so. And that is the look for this. And obviously we topped it off with the bag. Super casual, we actually wore the bag at the waist just because I wanted to leave it as a bum bag. Out of the three, there's only one that I actually wear across my body. The rest are sort of bum bags or belt-like and um, you'll get an idea for it. But yeah, this is definitely the most casual take on it. You can leave the bag at the front, you can leave the bag at the side, at the back, however you wish to have it, and you will be good to go. So bag numero uno, Margiela, beautiful bag. Then we're moving on to bag number two, and it's perhaps my favorite out of the bunch. It is from Gucci. Boys, I mean, look at that. The color is just absolutely insane. It's this sort of deep red with a hint of like burgundy, silver hardware detailing. The only thing 
that I am a bit like, uh, I wish it was different, is the logo, which is currently gold. So it's a gold logo that's sat on this silver plaque. Beautiful, it looks amazing, but you know what I'm like. I like my silver jewelry, and there's a tiny bit of gold that pops in here, which is less than ideal, but it's not enough to be like groundbreaking. In fact, it's still my favorite bag out of the bunch, and one that I'm so glad to add to my collection, because I think it's absolutely awesome. It's got this front little pouch, which your phone just slots in super nicely. Then you've got a zip at the front, which you can kind of chuck in your cash, any coins, and then you have a massive compartment, which you know can hold onto your wallet. Sunglasses, maybe, if they're small enough. Yeah, this is definitely a small bag and it features a belt loop so you can feed it through your jeans and that is exactly how I've done it. This is one of my favorite looks out of the bunch. To me, this is like a 70s sort of Starsky and Hutch vibe to this look. I love the colors and let's break it down, shall we? On top, we have the hat that I'm wearing currently that is from Rude. I wanted a really nice trucker hat and I've been hitting vintage stores and I found some good ones, but all green with a tiny pop of yellow. This one, so fire, literally so, so fire. Then we have my beloved Chrome Hearts tank top. We have my yellow shirt that I got from Moth Food, which is a vintage store here in LA. Amazing selection, you should definitely, if you get the opportunity to check it out. Then we have the vintage Levi's flared denim with some paint splatter and some rips here and there. Again, from Moth Food, again, such a beautiful pair. And this is why I love this look. There's so many colors in there, yet everything, in my opinion, works somewhat cohesively well. You've got the green, you've got the yellow, you've got the yellow in the shirt, you've got the red in the belt, and then you've got the blue in the jeans. It's sort of like your primary colors, and um, yeah, we love that. And then we have the black boots from, from the first. Love this look, man, it's super sick if I may say so myself, super colorful, and I love this bag. I think this bag is definitely my favorite out of the bunch. It's so easy, so convenient, and it makes you feel like a cowboy, you know? When you're drawing your phone out of this pouch, this little front little bit, boom, cowboy draw. They pull out guns, we're pulling out phones. That is where the society is moving anyway. Not to get too deep about it. We're moving on to bag numero tres and outfit numero Trois. This is the big hitter. This is the big, big boy. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna be super honest. When I saw it on the website, I thought it would be a lot bigger. It's actually really small and quite cute. With that being said though, you can definitely still fit most of what you need. Phone, wallet, sunglasses, money, what else you're gonna be carrying in a little bag. Yeah man, it's, oh, it's just so beautiful. This one in particular is from Givenchy with this croc embossed finishing the colors are absolutely incredible you get it in two colors in storm gray or in aubergine i decided to go with the storm gray just because of the outfit that i had planned and also because i've got the gucci bag in the red so i didn't want two red bags this is definitely more low-key as weird as that sounds because it is quite a blingy piece and another thing that is just so sick is the strap the strap is so cool man you've got loads of these little holes which basically allows you to feed the bag through so you just flick and there you go but it pops out so to put it in there, let me just show you. There you go, boom, flick that in, little twist, and voila. You can adjust it on the go, on the fly. You can wear it over, like I have done so in the video, or you can also wear it as like a belt and really cinch it in at the waist and then it just sits really, really nicely. Now for the outfit on this bad boy, I decided to kind of take it up a notch and throw in some formal, well, low-key formal casual wear. And so this whole outfit is actually pretty much just from a brand called Kitsune, Maison Kitsune Blazer. It's so sick. We've got two toggles at either side, which kind of allows you to cinch it in, makes the blazer a bit more casual, whilst still retaining this formal, elegant look to the piece which I love. Once again, we've got my chromey tank top, and then to finish it off, we have my black trousers from Kitsune, and the shoes, the loafers. Woo! Are they beautiful? Those are from Balenciaga. They've got the fold, of, um, the, the back bit that just folds, basically. So you can wear it as a slipper, or you can also wear it as a loafer. It's so sick, it's so smooth, it fits amazing. I size down to a size 40, 
which is what I tend to do with footwear, designer footwear especially. My true size is a 41, which is a US 8, UK 7, but with designer footwear, I tend to size down to a 40. Those are the loafers. That's the look, a bit more formal, but still playful and, you know, somewhat casual, so that it's not super formal. Like, you could definitely wear this out to a nice dinner, to an event, probably would skip it if like the event is too formal. If it's like a black tie and there's an actual code or like a white tie, then I probably wouldn't wear that. But for, you know, you want to stunt a little bit whilst everyone's just going to wear a normal suit, pull this out with the bag. You, my friend, are very much good to go. But that is that for the third outfit and that is that for all three outfits actually. And that is how I would personally style these crossbody forward slash bum bags, belt bags, whatever you want to call them. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it was definitely, at one point it was a trend. Now it's definitely creeped its way into being an essential, which I am a big fan of. Let me know what your favorite outfit was. Me personally, if I was to choose one of them, I'd say it would be the second one with the Gucci red bag. I think it's just such a fire look. I love the colors of it and the sort of vintage vibe that I get from said look. But yeah, let me know which one you thought was your favorite in the comment section down below. If you wish to follow me on my social media, it's all right here in this corner, S-A-N-G-I-E-V. All the links to everything that I've mentioned, at least I'm going to try my best to leave them in the description box down below. So if you wish to check out the pieces yourself, then you may do so. And yeah, I want to say a massive thanks to the wonderful people over at Forward for allowing me to pull some pieces for this video. That is that for this video. When this video goes live, the chains might be sold out already, but if not, do check it out. Your support is very much appreciated. Single pendant bullets for £150. The pearl bullets for £450. I know it's a bit more steeper, but there's only 20 made, and it's definitely more of a statement piece. With that being said, have a beautiful day. Take care. Peace! Ah.